from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, just about every week this winter, we've had one significant weather event that's brought with it either the threat for severe weather or snow or ice. And this week was no exception. We had the ice issues earlier. Looking ahead to next week, we do have rain chances returning, but as of right now, it looks like just rain, nothing too heavy, no ice or snow concerns, certainly, and as of right now, no severe weather concerns. So we'll keep our fingers crossed, and maybe, maybe we'll have a somewhat quiet week uh, to look forward to. But more importantly, we've got a really nice weekend to look forward to. Our network of Doppler radars are all quiet, and that will be the case until sometime on Tuesday when scattered showers will begin to return to the area. Lots of sunshine today, almost wall-to-wall -wall, uh, blue skies. Just a beautiful day despite the sub-freezing temperatures. You know, fifth coldest of the winter, but that sun made all the difference. Really took the edge off the cold and continued to melt the ice, even though, you know, temperatures were below freezing all day long. That direct sun did take more of that ice out. And with the warming temperatures over the weekend, all that ice will be a memory come Sunday. But 18 degrees right now. Winds are calm, so temperatures are down 2 degrees in the last hour. Most of the area in the upper teens to around 20 will drop a few more degrees into the mid to upper teens, level off for a while, then rise back to around 20 by daybreak tomorrow morning. And that will set the stage for a much warmer day tomorrow, especially as we get into the uh, afternoon hours. Not much cloud cover out there right now as that Arctic air is still well, pushing in from the north, but it is bitterly cold up in northern portions of New England. Mount Washington, New Hampshire, uh, which is located about right here, set an all-time record for the United States, the coldest wind chill ever recorded, minus 102 this afternoon. The wind chills up in northern Maine, where the temperatures topped out about 12 below zero, the actual temperature. Uh, those wind chills were pushing 40 to 50 below with blowing snow, so they had blizzard conditions up there, and it's still just bitterly cold here in northern portions of New England tonight. So yeah, it's kind of cold down here, but nothing like what it is up to the northeast. Unfortunately, all that Arctic air will be retreating over the weekend. So Future Tracker painting sunshine in the morning, gradually giving way to mid to high level clouds tomorrow. And our high will likely be later in the afternoon, more like four or five o'clock as we get into the mid to upper 40s, forecasting 46 to 47 in the Evansville metro. And the clouds continue to increase tomorrow night, which will be mostly cloudy, but not all that cold. We'll fall back into the 30s later in the evening. By daybreak Sunday, we are in the mid 30s. And Sunday will dawn mostly cloudy, but the winds will pick up again. The clouds will give way to a little sunshine at least and temperatures will continue to warm hopefully up into the low 50s for a high on Sunday afternoon. If the clouds hang in a little bit longer and our latest run is a little cloudier for Sunday, maybe just around 50. But despite the clouds, it's going to be a dry weekend. Those clouds finally clear, but more come in by daybreak Monday, and then those break up heading into Monday afternoon as temperatures turn even warmer into the low to mid 50s. And Monday may be the pick day out of the next seven. So clear and cold overnight, 15 to 18, but rising some towards daybreak tomorrow, which will feature sunshine giving way to increasing mid to high level clouds, windy, much warmer late day highs of 45 to 48 and some clearing on Sunday windy and even warmer 51 some sun Monday 54 mostly cloudy on Tuesday a windy 58 with scattered showers moving in the pattern is similar to what we saw earlier this week but about 20 degrees warmer so no ice to worry about just a few waves of rain making a run at us the first one comes in Tuesday another one Wednesday and the final one should be fading away on Thursday and behind it it begins to cool down and dry out for the end of next week Loving the